Let us perform certain operations with the operators that we have learned. Um, there are things you can do with both um, string and numbers when it comes to using operators. And I'm going to be showing you a few of them now. Say I have a variable. Let's comment all the other code out. Um, so we have a clean slate to work with. Um, by the way, don't don't forget you can always um, go back if there's any part of anything I have talked about that you feel like you don't understand. It's always advisable to go back and watch them again and see. And also, as I talk about these things, I recommend that you try different things. I'm sure you'll get errors. But just think of ways you can mix these things together and the results you can get from them. I'll uh, we'll also be building something very soon to show you how you can use some of them in real life applications. Because right now it seems like a bunch of theories that we don't know how to use yet. Uh, but don't worry, we are going to be using them. Okay, so I was saying we'll be learning how to perform certain things using the operators. The first thing we want to do is to start with this small variable. Uh, so let's create a variable and call it voice and say scream. Is that how to spell scream? I mean shouting. Let's just say shout shout okay so we have a variable um okay yeah I, I need to do this i always make that mistake when writing python because um, most other languages require that you terminate like c plus um, plus php um, whichever script does not require but i mean it's advisable to terminate every time you write the best script python doesn't need it it's to still work but it's not needed Right, say I want to repeat this same thing. Let's print it out first. And let's just run that code. And you can see it, we have that, of course, we've done this before. So say I want to have this repeated in several places. So I'm going to add a space here so we can identify them. Or, you know, better still, let's do this. Now I can do uh, in five places. If I run this code, I get shout, 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 shout. Now, not many languages can do this. In fact, I, I believe Python is probably one of the first languages to be able to, uh, to do this. I'm not entirely sure about that, but you know, of the languages that I write, Python is the first, <laughs> to be sincere, Python is the first that I've noticed can do this. Um, so I'll take that out because it looks weird. Let's run it again. And that's fine. Then we can do the same thing with list. So let's create a list. Uh, that's a bad idea. Let's say um, a list. All right, so let's have a list and say one, two, three, four, five, six in that list. And then we can do, of course, this is a little much, but I'll leave it that way. We can do the list in three places. And if I run this code, Again, I'm terminating, that's bad. Uh, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, all, two, three, four, five, six, all in the same uh, list. Now, one other thing we can do is uh, let's create a list A and call it one, two, three, four, and then another list B, one, say, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we can do this with that list A plus B. Now let me show you what happens when I do that. See what I get? All right, let's comment this out. This is obviously um, filling in space. So I, I, I know you can already guess what will happen, but this is what happens. It adds both together. Again, not many languages can do this, um, but Python does it. Okay, so let's let's try one other thing. Now imagine I want to increase a number, say uh, I have a variable age, and that age is specified as 35. Say I want to increase this number by one. So there are different ways you can do this. I can do age equals age plus one. So this basically takes the age, adds one to it, and then assign that age assign the new value uh, to variable age. Remember when we talked about variable, we said variables are just like containers where you can add a single thing at a time. So 
what I've done here is to replace the contents of this container, which is age, with this current content plus one, and then put it back into the container. So that's kind of easy. Let's print it out. If I print age now, again with determination, just pardon that. If I print age now, I get 36. That's because I increased this by one and then assigned it back to the variable. If I print age here, just so we are sure that that's what we get, I should get 35, then 36. And as you can see, I have 35 and 36. Now, this is a long way of doing this. In fact, not many people write this in their application. So this will allow me to introduce you to something in most programming languages that allows you to shorten this, a shorthand way of writing this. And this is it. I'm going to take this part out. Or as a matter of fact, let's just duplicate this and comment this out because I'll be making this available for you. So I'll take this part out and then add a plus here. So this basically says add a plus to this, add add one to this, and then add it, add assign it back to that variable. Sorry about that. <laughs> so this is saying what we just did here. And I expect the same results now. So let's run the code and see if we get the same result. And you see, we still get the same result, did we? All right, let me, let me, let's see that again. I'm going to comment. Oh yes, we still get the same result. Oh, you know what? Let me comment this out so I'm sure that I get the same result. And there is an error here. Ah, right. Okay, so let's try this again and see what we get. And I get 36. So I, it still works. Sorry about that. I wanted to be extra sure because, um, you know, it would be a bad idea to mislead anyone. So this is now, okay, so it's 37 now. That's because I'm doing this twice. So let's comment this out and then I should get my 35 and 36 now. So this is for addition. You can do the same thing for subtraction. Let's just duplicate. Okay, you know what? I don't need to duplicate it. I can just change this to subtraction and I get 35 and 34 now. So 35 and 34, that's because I'm taking out one from this. I can do it for, you know, it's, it's, it could be other numbers here actually, not just one. Uh, so don't, don't be fooled into thinking it's, it works with just one. It could be any number. And I can use multiplication to um, run this code. And I get 175. That's because 5 times 35 is 175. I can do the same with division. Um, run this code. And I get 35 and 7.0. That's because um, 35 divided by 5 is 7.7, 7, basically 